Okay, so uh, I come to the end of my uh, presentation. So conclusion. So what are the conclusions? So basically, uh, the Internet of Things uh, will turn into a web of things ultimately. Okay, where uh, it will impact uh, every aspect of our life. So uh, we'll have these very smart objects or very uh, smart local networks. They will expose um, their say the functionality in, in terms of web services. You will have a huge service oriented architecture okay, across the globe. Where, uh, you know, uh, today for example you know that uh, web application can talk to each other uh, using web services. Same technologies for example RESTful web services uh, is one technology which we start seeing in uh, IoT. So it will become a huge web actually will talk to each other, will expose the functionality as web services. Other objects will you know, access those web services. Okay, so all these things will start seeing in very large number. Uh, a reality of ambient intelligence will come to. Okay, so the, this ambient intelligence uh, the term is nothing but uh, the things are so smart uh, you, know, you can because you can sense anything, uh, you can access anything, you can control anything. Okay, so very smart world whether it is your car, your home, your office, uh, your roads, okay, uh, your factories, your offices, so everything, things are so smart. Uh, okay, so everywhere there is a smartness, there is a smart sensing, a smart decision making, a smart uh, data analytics. Uh, many applications will lead to the ethical debates. It's already triggered. So for example, uh, in US, uh, there is a lot of resistance uh, some of these uh, uh, smart meters kind of technologies. Okay. And the reason is that, okay, because that the, the privacy issues, because not only privacy issues, but uh, the governments will definitely use the data. Okay. Uh, like in US, the FBI uh, uses your energy data okay, uh, to uh, monitor okay, the occupants, for example, when they come, when they go, etc. Also, there are applications where they use where if in a particular locality, uh, if uh, the usage of electricity is very high, then uh, they go and uh, you know, check that house because uh, they may be growing marijuana or something in that house. So already uh, the, so some of the government agencies are using uh, these technologies uh, to monitor their citizens. Okay? And this will only grow okay? As we, because now with all these mobile computing you know, devices and all these smart objects, and things getting connected to each other and talking to each other. So you will be always you know, where you are, what you are doing. Okay. If somebody wants to you know, they can find out about it. So a lot of ethical issues are there and risks are there. Okay. Although security is improving, the total security is near impossible with all these uh, new complexities. So the only thing what we can do is uh, detect the problem early, that there is hack, there is a problem, respond quickly and effectively and recover. Okay. So recovery is very important. So if the, the uh, network is brought down, then you should have a capability to bring it up quickly. It has to have a, a fail set kind of mechanism, uh, you know, backup plans for example, or more robustness. So you don't completely go out of uh, you know, up the network. Uh, the last one, uh, I don't want to say, but uh, you know, things are becoming more and more geeky. Uh, you know, it looks like the geeks will so that concludes uh, my presentation. Uh, these are